Hello and welcome back to Titan Quest The Immortal Throne So last time we did the side quest After a lot of pain I must say So now let's just simply just go on with it To the Laconia Woods The next area over here Before um, we reach the Spartans That is Alright some more crows here very cool. Ooh. Also some harpies. Hmm. Kill these guys. And once again notice that the frames went down to 30. The video itself will be like um, 30, 30 frames but um, I was hoping I could manage higher when playing. But it doesn't matter, let's just continue. I've been rambling on all too much about frames and such. Ah, what do we find the bone part? Some money and junk. Let's get on. Get more dudes. Another thing which I forgot again. Activate the harness. Naturally. Let's see the map, look at the map a bit here. Okay, we came from there, that's our rebirth fountain. There should be another side quest somewhere here. We'll go look for it. But first, these harpies must die. It's too bad, but that's the truth. Ooh. Damn, I keep missing them. Come on here. Okay. Pristine plumage. Yeah. A charm. We'll combine those when we get more. Oh, the music returned. <laughs> Wonder what was happening to that. Okay, I'm taking too much damage again. Let's just hope we don't run into any of those trappers. Because they are sick. Hey, don't hurt this poor man out here. Okay, let's need more one. energy. More energy. Oh, we didn't buy any mana potions. That's weak. Oh well. They don't seem to really care about us, so we can take care of them like this. How much do these guys take? Oh my word. Come on. Today. Okay, good. Essence of Hecate's Crescent. That's decent. Oh, thank you. I was in a bit of a scrape there, I'll admit. Thank the god Hermes you came along. Yes. The Cornered Man. Oh, what was that different quest? Let's look at it. Ah, oh, Satyrs had surrounded a man after setting a torch to his home in a small lumber camp. Fortunately, we were able to defeat the Satyrs with a golden experience. That's always funny. How much gold do we have? 4,400 or something. Let's just continue. Also, there's a health potion here. Health is almost always welcome. So, ooh, went below 30 frames right there. That's not cool. Battle marker. Mm, yeah. More shrines. I think this uh, increases the damage or attack of um, our weapon, but not our not our skills. Oh, anyway. Let's. Oh, that was pretty fine right there. Let's look at the stats. No, actually, it's not that important. Instead, let's use it while it's active. Tough leather leggings and gold. That's good. Even more boars. We have to be doing stuff now when we have a good damage. More hide. Okay, let's go down here. <clears throat> 
Cool. What else? Need to explore everything to be certain. Also, I need to be. I haven't still checked out what uh, what would be good opportunities for the skill trees. I have to check into that later. Okay, these are pretty easy to avoid. Fight. Okay, I think our battle marker just ended. Cool. Oh well, we managed. So, hmm. here. just some more boars. It's not very interesting with me running around here and nothing special happening, but I think we're getting close, so it would be pretty stupid to just quit the recording right here. Okay, even more of these harpies. They're everywhere. But they're not too bad, as I said. They're not the trappers. Oh, I do hate those. Brush Harpy. Ag. So, a new rebirth fountain? Very nice. And what do you have to say? Traveler, please, you must assist me. A strange illness afflicts many in my town of Tegea, and I was sent to retrieve medicines. I have them in my cart. But now the pass ahead is hailed by satyrs, led by one of their fierce champions. Okay, we have picked up yet another side quest. This one is very short. We just move in here. Start wailing away at these guys. Then there's a bigger guy up ahead as well. Health potion. Very nice. There's the champion. I wish to face your champion. Oh, there he is. He looks rather brutish, and he's a brute as well, so. He shouldn't be too bad. Oh, I took quite much damage. Need some health. Now we just tank him. Oh yeah, side quest updated. Brute armor. Let's check it out. It's white armor, but yeah, it has basically like ten uh, more armor. But we lose mana regeneration. Let's look how much we lose. Ah, it's not too bad. Let's. This way we have at least some more staying power. Although our character looks rather weird with it on. <laughs> Doesn't fit too well. But uh, 10 more armor, I won't argue with that. So We'll find some good stuff later, I, I'm sure about that. So. Oh. Okay, I almost forgot. We have to go back to this dude with the medicine. So and speak to him one more time to finish the quest. Yes. Your way is clear? Good. Well, I'll be moving on, I suppose. Here, have this for your troubles. Okay, updated. We got uh, lesser health potion and our health and energy was restored and we got 350 experience. Uh, it's actually it was a pretty bad reward. But as we must go this path anyway, it doesn't, so it doesn't matter. There aren't too many side quests, but so it's um, you won't miss much. But a few of them are quite important, so you should always do them. These are not very important, but those that give um, give you skill points and such, they are the best. Hmm, to chest. Ooh, do not approach. I really have to check some new ability. This is getting. I do survive, but um, it would be better to have something better. Maybe even add some more levels to it or something. Ooh, a Sage Guardian. 
getting hit pretty hard, but uh, we survived. Alright, more of these guys. And once again, we are out of mana. This spell sucks pretty much, actually. Hmm, I got something. Ah, uh, more Christian plumage. Ooh. We must not get hit. We do take quite a lot of damage, still. Hmm, fire my G. Yeah, not too dangerous. They just do their fire bolts. Some gold. Always welcome. Let's look at the map. Okay, we came from there. I'm not sure if there was one more side quest or if it was in a later area. But we'll see. We should have a level soon as well. Yeah, we need more mana as well. A lot of our mana is reserved, so. Conia Hills. Yeah, here's also some kind of camp. I don't know it's in, if it's important. Well, let's go there anyway. Now there's a chest anyway, so... Okay, a new level. Pretty good. This does actually worse damage. <laughs> oh, nothing good, a primitive chest. Okay, what is there? Alleviating embossed, yeah, we'll check that out later as well. Let's wait till our mana regenerates here. Well, taking in the view. Okay, here's another guy. I think there's another side quest here. I know it's dangerous here, but I can't go home. My daughter is supposed to be married. Alas, her dowry, a fine gold necklace, is in the claws of crazed demons who smashed my cart and ran off. Okay, the lost dowry. Dowry. A relic shard. Mm, yeah, well, but we'll do it anyway. I think it's here. In a cave. Oh, damn. More dudes coming in. I should really buy a few mana potions. Yeah, it takes a lot of mana. Let's not aggro those ones. Ooh, that's the 35. Not good. Alright, now they are taken care of. Let's go find this cave here. And there's it, the cave entrance. But before we go in, let's go around and play some attributes, shall we? Okay. We maybe we need more dexterity, but I'm not entirely certain. I wouldn't want to be spreading too much with these. Let's add only a few. Okay, that's good. Three points for health. Let's add five points to mana because our main thing. And five more points into intelligence. Okay, let's also look at what we found here. Tough leather leggings. Nine armor, plus four armor, so makes yeah, 13 armor and one pierce resistance. Ah, it's not worth it. I like the mana region. Also, we have a protective crude buckler. 
This seems pretty good. We might as well use it with this other kit though. And here we have the pristine pulmonches by clicking clicking on right clicking on them and placing it on my similar uh, charm. You combine them. And here's Borhide. We have already three combined. And when we reach five it will become a basically it will become complete. And it will give better bonuses. As you see here, if I place this in a slot on some armor, I, it gains six armor. So it works pretty much like the rune stuff and those on in Diablo. Ooh, uh, Irium is a burger, or whatever. What are we called? Irimus. Irimus. Hmm. Nasty demon creatures. Oh, good, they died. Let's look at the bone pile. Health gold. There are more of these dudes down here. Oh, let's not be surrounded. And let's not pull in too many at a time. There are also bats here. A bat, a beast. Whoa. Okay, so it really in increases our attack rating. So our damage is also very high. Okay, thieving Eurus. Oh, almost died there. I wasn't paying attention. He's also very fast. It's this dude who stole the diary. Ooh, damn. Let's try to avoid his attacks. Okay, he's dead. And he dropped dowry necklace. We have to go give that to the father of the daughter who was getting married. Very good. Is there anything else in this cave? Which we have already found. More dudes. We might as well kill them. For the experience. You can, if you like, pretty much just farm dudes and gather experience. And it will be pretty some easier to get on with the game after that. <clears throat> but it's not very necessary, so... Anything else? No. Oh yeah, there's a chest here. I almost missed it. What does it hide inside? Go, mana potions and health potions. Actually pretty good because we have only now one mana potion and four healing potions. I'd be really lazy. Mm, let's go outside. And take the relic shard from the guy. See if it's any good. Oh yeah, you do. Okay, here. The necklace! Oh, may the goddess Hera bless you! Essence of Archimedes Mirror. Yes, it's a um, different kind of shard. Ah, uh, it's okay, I guess. More dudes. Oh, damn, well. Okay, this time we'll use the mana potion. Some basic hiding. Oh, lesser mana potion. Very nice. Anything here? Map. Hmm. <clears throat> no, nothing special. Seems that there, there's a rebirth fountain over here in this direction. Go towards it. Ah, oh, also a guardian. And a magi. Now, nah, limited for mana. We need to go boost our abilities. <clears throat> oh, even more guys. No problem. They all perish like the rest of them. And the mana keep magi guy keeps missing all, all the time. Ooh. So let's deal with this guy now. Fire magi. Elite healthiest fire magi. Yeah. 
Anything good? Protective bangle. Let's look at it. Protective bangle. 12 armor, shock resistance, reduction to electrical burn, some mana regeneration. But as we see, I have a bangle of insight, gives 5 intelligence, 21 mana regeneration, and increased experience. So I'll keep that for the time being. Let's keep heading up. Towards the fountain. Yeah, here it is. Ribbon fountain. Another guy. The Spartan army. Yes, you'll find them just up the road. They've built a war camp there. Mm, oh yes. We are getting close to the Spartans. Just beyond this bridge here. Uh, at least I think it's uh, over there. We'll keep exploring some a bit down here to see what there is here. Oh, another camp with some more sagers. More mana. Okay, good. I think there's more of them there, but we sh we shall not waste the time. Instead, we're looking. We're gonna look at the skills. Benefici. So I have one in force javelin. How much more damage will I do? Okay, currently it's 19 to 22 physical damage. The only difference will be the increase in physical damage. So I don't know if it's too good. Also, charge to bind yourself to your inner energies, connecting spirit and body. All right. So is this a passive skill? Gives me 7% health and health regeneration and the reserves mana. So nothing special over there. The lever over here gives some something better. Drain. Drain mana from anyone who hits you. The trauma of this process can stun them. Okay, good. Restoration. What's this? Oh, okay, we went through this earlier. It gives us health, basically. Focus of will. Potency of energy will power resonates not only within but to others as well. Okay, that's total damage. This is shield of will. We might just take one more level in. Harness mana gives us even more mana regen. Let's see how much we have right now. Yeah, 12.9. Even with this item. Poseidon. Poseidon. Earthshaker. Chant your hands with the power of Poseidon, the Earthshaker, increasing the power of your weapons, staves, and barehanded attacks. Okay, more damage to everything. That's cool. Okay, stands. We should maybe have one of those activated. One that doesn't suck. They seem to have pros and cons. Stands of Antius. Less movement, but more damage. And there's a more damage observation. Is there anything good up here? Blessing of Poseidon. No, I don't. Water Prism. Creates a shield that affects friend and foe alike, disrupting projectiles badly. Okay, so some kind of shield. Lifetime 18 seconds, and it has 10 health and 10 mana. Hmm. Wonder what it is. We should explore and check it out. Also here, particle burst, tenacity. Yeah, I think we have gone through this before, but I can't can't make up my mind really. We'll go for the water prism. Let's add some levels. Six more. Okay, now we have it activated, and it also gave us strength, health, reduced our mana, reduced our mana regeneration. Oh damn, what's well, at a point there now? So we should have even less mana regen right now. Nope. Okay, that's strange. Whatever. Let's move on. Let's check out the water prism. Let's activate. What? All right. So we move really slowly in this. The Spartan Road. So it's some kind of. Okay, if you're within that, it's. Um... Oh, yeah, I really don't know. 
It's something. Ooh. Grab this ball. I think we should be soon at the Spartans. But there are a few places for that, so... Oh damn! Don't kill me! Damn you, Revenus boy! Actually, I think we'll stop here. Because it's still quite a way to go. Not too long, but uh, it would take some time still. And there are some enemies there. So, next time... We'll get back when I get back to you, we're going to go to the Spartans. See you guys later.